This is my 1964 Ford Galaxy 500 two-door fastback. It's painted with a modern Nissan blue color. I think it's from an Altima. It's got 15-inch American racing torque thrusts on, painted to match the car. It's had all the bright work and trim work redone and re-chromed. It's an older restoration about 20 years ago where it underwent a body on restoration where the paint was stripped to the bare metal and the interior was completely redone at the same time. I've owned the car for about three years now and I've done a number of mechanical repairs to the car including rebuilding the engine this past winter which is the winter of 2021-2022. Uh, the engine was professionally um, rebuilt to about 400 horsepower. It's a Ford racing block uh, board 30 over 351 Windsor. It's got Edelbrock aluminum heads, Edelbrock intake, Edelbrock carburetor. It's got full MSD ignition system, including a brand new distributor. It's got headers. The transmission in the car was rebuilt about two years ago for Mr. Transmission and the rear end was rebuilt about three years ago from a performance shop in town. It's a Ford nine inch rear end with three, two, three gears. All the emblems have been repainted and the grill has been polished. All the hardware was replaced this winter when the engine was out and we repainted the engine bay. We also sent certain items out to be sandblasted like the horns and the hood hinges. The car has line lock in it as well. Got a new Holly fuel pump on it and a new water pump. All new copper lines, front brake lines, copper fuel lines, 3 8 fuel line front to back replaced. The rad has been recored and pressure tested. All the wiring in the car was re wrapped. All the connections cleaned and tidied up. New heater lines. New spark plugs, new spark plug wires. The alternator was refinished. Battery connections were redone. Everything works on the car as it should. It runs really well. It's only got about 200 kilometers on it so far, but it's dialed in quite nicely and makes good power. It's got a bottom end camshaft in it, which helps the big girl get out of the hole a little better. As mentioned, the interior was completely redone. 
when the transmission was rebuilt, the column shift was replaced with a low car floor shifter. And when they did the interior, they put a new headliner in it as well. No rips or tears in the seats. All in very, very good condition. The stereo has also been upgraded. New six by nine speakers. And new round speakers up in the front under the dash. You can't see them, but they're in there. And it also has an aftermarket radio meant to look like an old stock one with auxiliary input. So you can plug in your phone and it has an amplifier in the trunk as well. They did a really nice body job on it when they restored it. It's very straight and the paint shines very nicely. It's got straight dual exhaust from long tube headers into Holly Raptor mufflers and big tips on the back to amplify the sound. Three winters ago, the interior was removed and kill mat was installed on the floors as sound deadener. And the trunk also has sound deadener in it as well. Take a look on this side. It does not have power steering, but it does have power brakes. And it does not have air conditioning. The pedal system has also been converted to a low car cable system and transmission kickdown linkage. Fuel gauge works well. The temperature gauge is not hooked up. It has never been hooked up since I had the car, but it has auxiliary gauges down here. Which is your water, your oil, and your battery. I'm going to go ahead and start it up for you. Hear how she sounds from the back. It's still a pretty cold engine, so it might take a minute to warm up. The camshaft has a little bit of a low B idle. Not too much.
behind the car and give it a few revs.